Hello, Weldon Artists. This week we're going to be making or creating a pretty watercolor looking pumpkin with some shadows and highlights like we learned about last week. Um, so what you're going to need for the project today is you will need an orange um, water soluble marker, so like Crayola. Um, you're going to need also a lighter orange water soluble marker. If you don't have a lighter orange, you could use a yellow would also work. You're going to need a green crayon and a, gr a black crayon. I have these big black crayons, which we'll be using in the classroom, but a regular black crayon will work as long as it's not a washable crayon. If it's the Crayola washable crayons, you may get a little bit of smearing, but regular Crayola crayons work just great. Okay, and then you're gonna need a uh, brown water-soluble marker. So just a brown Crayola marker. Okay, so let's begin. Oh, two more things. You're gonna need a little bit of water and a brush. If you don't have a brush, you can possibly use like a wet paper towel um, or even your finger, um, just wet it and you'll see how we're gonna do that in just a minute. Okay, so what you're gonna do first, you need a white piece of paper um, that's dry, okay? And we're just gonna go for it. We're not gonna draw in pencil first. We're gonna be brave. Pumpkins are funny. They all look funny. So yours does not have to look exactly like mine because all pumpkins are different and that's what's wonderful about drawing pumpkins, okay? So we're gonna start. You want your pumpkin to be pretty big. Don't draw a teeny tiny pumpkin in the center of the page. I want you to draw a pretty big pumpkin. So the way we're gonna start, is with a large oval. And this is gonna be the center of your pumpkin, just the center section, okay? This isn't gonna be the whole pumpkin. So a large oval, okay? Next, you're gonna start up here towards the top of this oval. You're gonna go up, around, and back down, kind of making like a backward C shape, okay? And I'm gonna let my backward C get a little smaller on the next one. There's the bell, okay? And then I'm gonna go across and do it on the other side. I probably should have done this side first so I wasn't dragging my hand through my orange, but hey, I wasn't really thinking about it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a C again, and then I'm gonna do another C. All right, now if yours doesn't look exactly like that, that is just fine. I'm not even gonna put my cap on my marker because I'm gonna come right back to it. You're gonna take your green crayon and above your center oval, you're gonna make two lines and just a little kind of flat oval on the top. This is gonna be your stem. And if you would like, you can go ahead and color it in if you want to. Okay, so we got our stem. Now, we're gonna do the back part of the pumpkin. So from the stem over, we're just gonna make a couple of loop, 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 loop. Pumpkins have sound effects. All right, now I'm gonna put my cap on my orange marker because I don't need it. Now you wanna make sure your lines are pretty broad. So if you were using the tip of your marker and you have really skinny lines like this, you're gonna wanna use the side of your marker and go back and make that line really thick and heavy. Okay, so if you have skinny lines, go back over it. If you have really thick lines because you were using the side of your marker like I was, then you're probably good to go, okay? But little skinny lines like this, that's not gonna work because we need this marker to work like our paint in a moment. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, um, let's go ahead and if you would like curly Q vines on your pumpkin, loop, loop, loop. You can do those. If you don't want those, you don't have to have them. You're the artist of your paper. Okay. Now you're gonna take one of your lighter orange markers. Okay. I guess I'll just use this one. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're not gonna color it in. Okay. We're just gonna put some broad lines. I'm using the side of my marker. Just filling in with some broad lines. Okay. Here and there, I don't want too much in the center because I want the center to look like it's lighter. Remember, the edges are gonna be darker when we're trying to make an object look round and the center is going to be lighter. So that's why we used our dark color 
on our lines. All right, next thing, you're gonna take your, and feel free if I'm going too fast, obviously, to stop the video, um, get to where you need to be, and then keep going. All right, so you're gonna take your black crayon. Now, when two objects are smashed together, like my fingers are right here, it's gonna, it's gonna make this shadow, this dark shadow. And so, with your black crayon, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under, the bottom of your pumpkin, okay, making that dark shadow between where the pumpkin and the surface that it is sitting on, where they're meeting, we're gonna have a shadow, okay? So we're gonna do that with our black crayon, all right? Next thing you're gonna do, just because we wanna have some sort of semblance of a background, is you're gonna take your brown marker and just want you to start on the side of that pumpkin. I got on my pumpkin a little bit, it's gonna be okay, because all of this is gonna blend. And look, my marker is even a little bit dried out, and that's gonna be okay, because we are going to put some water over this, and it's gonna just work kinda like magic. Okay, I didn't color nicely. I kinda scribble scrabbled, but I was using the side of my marker. Well, there's my marker's working now. What do you know? Use the side of your marker. All right, now we're ready for the fun part, the water part. Okay, so you're gonna get your water and your brushy brush. Okay, little water on the brush. Okay, we're gonna do our pumpkin first and you're just gonna begin to brush over your marker and give that water just a minute to kind of sink in and it's gonna begin to work like a watercolor paint. Okay, and you wanna try to stay in those lines, okay? So you can't just paint over the whole paper, or then you're gonna have a smeary pumpkin. If you want a smeary pumpkin though, go for it. That's totally up to you. Okay, now I want my center to stay a little white. Whether or not you do, I'm gonna leave that up to you. If you want yours to look more solid, you can keep painting and spreading that paint out, but I like kind of those whites because I think it looks like a nice highlight. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, I don't even have to worry about um, rinsing my brush. I'm gonna get a little more water and I'm gonna come down here on my brown. And look, it's gonna bring in some of that orange. That's awesome. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing with my brown. I'm just going over it, making it look like a nice watercolor paint. It's okay if you get up on your black crayon. Crayons are made of wax and they resist water, unless they are the devil, I mean Crayola washable crayons, which have no place in an art classroom because if you have had me before, you know we do this trick a lot, where we use crayons and watercolor crayons and marker. So um, you wanna make sure they're just regular, plain old crayons, okay? And that's about it, folks. You don't wanna overpaint it. If you keep going over and over it, you can paint a hole in your paper, okay? It's just gonna be a simple watercolor pumpkin. I can't wait to see how yours turn out. Be sure to either send them to me by email if you aren't able to upload to Artsonia, but I will put in an assignment called Fall Pumpkins and you can upload your drawings there. I hope you have a wonderful week and yay, fall's here!